More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. <laughs> Sorry, we gotta do that again. <laughs> Richard's like. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Fletcher. I'm here with Richard Mady, hey. senior designer on Diablo Immortal. And I know it's been a huge month for DI, especially this month with June. Talk to us a little bit more about it. Yeah, it's been a massive month. It's been a massive year for Diablo Immortal. We've introduced the Tempest class, an all new class for Diablo. Very exciting, we've had the anniversary events, so it's a great time to play Diablo Immortal. Sounds like there's been a ton of stuff. Uh, but of course, it doesn't stop here, right? It never stops, Adam. So we have <laughs> even more updates with 3.0, and we'll get into that. Awesome. So like, I know players have been hearing about the Age of Unmaking. Where are we in this Age of Unmaking? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're actually smack dab in the middle of the Age of Unmaking. 2024 has been a great year of events and introducing new modes and all this other fun content. Ultimately, we're going to have a grand finale at the end of the year, and there's an encroaching terror element uh, in Sanctuary that's coming. So now's the perfect time to gear up and get ready for our grand finale and have fun with our most epic content. So I know you, you mentioning Tempest is a brand new class to Diablo Immortal. It's actually a brand new class to the whole entire Diablo franchise. Similar to the Blood Knight, which was released last year and is also a brand new class yeah. to all of Diablo <laughs> itself. I guess for returning players, and you were just mentioning with the 3.0 update being out now, like what is kind of like the big thing that they should be jumping into? Yeah, so for returning players, I would definitely recommend leveling up this equipment. So we're actually upgrading our high tier of legendary equipment. So of course we have new affixes, but we're introducing the system of slotting runes inside of it. Awesome, runes. That makes a bunch of different people's ears burn, I'm sure. <laughs> runes being a very popular feature in prior Diablo games, was uh, actually in Diablo Immortal uh, before, yeah. and now with this new rune system, what can we expect from it? Yeah, so we had runes before, but it's almost a form of currency. Uh, we're letting those players keep that currency and still have that. We kind of make sure that in Diablo Immortal you keep your progression from day one. But with our whole new system, we're taking a lot of inspiration from Diablo 2. So players will be able to slot those runes into their equipment, get new affixes, unslot it without any penalties, and also upgrade it over time. So it's a whole new progression track for our players. With you mentioning runes now and gear, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are wanting to know, like, what's the best ways of kind of obtaining both of those? You can get a lot of the legendary equipment and runes from various places in the game. But for the highest concentration for legendary equipment, I would highly recommend going to our first update for Age of Unmaking. So we had Terror Rifts, we had Oblivion Pillars, we had Hellslayer Bounties. That's going to be your best place to get that legendary equipment. But for Ruins, we're introducing two new modes, Abyssal Verge and Airbend. So new names now we're hearing with the 3.0 update, uh, Abyssal Verge and, and Airbend. Can you explain to us what Abyssal Verge is? So inside of Sanctuary, there is this encroaching terror coming in and it's starting to materialize. It's not quite here yet, uh, but in these two new modes, you'll actually see this materialize more. Inside of the Abyssal Verge, players will see the Terror Incarnate. And basically it's a black smoke being conjured by some Lord of Terror, possibly. And this smoke is going to kill and change anything it touches. So the players will be dropped into the world, be chased by this, they're tasked with killing enemies that get in their way and ultimately defeat a boss to get out of sight of this hell nightmare area. So it's actually a really fun way to get a lot of gear, get a lot of rewards really quickly. It's exciting to hear about, uh, you know, Terror, the Lord of Terror, very popular and probably the most popular prime evil. <laughs> uh, but Arabin, I know, uh, was another new feature in 3.0. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit more about what Arabin is? Arabin is a fortress also inside of a dimension of hell. And inside of this fortress, there's a lot of loot up for grabs. It's almost tempting our players to come and get this loot. There's tons of chests all around, and it's up to the players to use their speed and dexterity and all their different skills to get in, steal as much as they can. But if they wait too long, there's gonna be an undefeatable boss that chases them and ultimately kills them. So it's up to them to get in there, steal as much as they can, and get out with their life. So both of these modes really enhance getting more loot, and also it's the highest concentration of runes. 
So I really think those high-end players should focus on these two modes to level up their equipment. That's awesome. You know, loot and plunder. Everyone wants their loot, so <laughs> it's always good to hear that there's a new great way of being able to obtain some more. I know 3.0, big update for you, Richard. Like, what is kind of your favorite features with 3.0? I am really excited to start my rune collection. Uh, I think it's a fun new way to progress. It's going to enhance pretty much any build, so you'll actually have more customization. And I think I'm gonna go through Abyssal Verge. But this is just a bite of our 3.0 update. We, of course, have new Helicor bosses, upgrades to the Paragon system, events, so it just keeps on going. So this is just Age of my making content, but again, we have so much more content coming down the line. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Richard, for sharing all this great information about Diablo Immortal and all the big events and uh, activities for players to kind of jump into. And players can actually check out Diablo Immortal via the App Store, Google Play Store, or PC Battle.net. We'll see you in Sanctuary.